Steve's making the point that even though we have done many fascinating things over the years, 15 years, you and I have logged a thousand uh, many things have been set on fire many times. Many a time. But some of our experiments are missing just the one ingredient that makes it a science fair opportunity. Right, because uh, uh, you know, just mixing, for example, when you say science fair, everybody thinks uh, here's volcano, the classic yes. volcano. And yeah. what happens? People put vinegar and baking soda together, and then we say words like a gas or carbon dioxide, and I, I, and, and the stakes are too high for us to just treat this as just playtime. Uh, we need scientists and engineers, and so we gotta teach kids how to do some real science. Right. It's easy to do, you just have to do a little comparison. Right. Fair enough? Yes. Throw in your safety glasses, I'll show you an of example. Course. So watch this. We know that if you take vinegar and baking soda and mix them together, what happens? Uh, that, that we have a volcano. Yes, well, well you get an eruption. Yeah, it's not eruption, a volcano, yes. okay. right? Yeah. right? So you get a little eruption. So look at this, maybe we start with a little analysis. So I've got some uh, baking soda here, and so I've got a couple <coughs> tablespoons of baking soda there. Okay. And now if we add the vinegar like this, watch what happens. Here we go. You start to get this, and now I can measure how high it goes up there. Did you see this? We got up to about the 550 yes. uh, milliliter mark. Yeah. So we produced that much gas, and then it was released. So now if I go back and change it and say, well, let me add like 150 milliliters, and let me add some more baking, so then what would happen? So now all of a sudden I'm starting to gather some data. Oh, I see. Okay. Once I've got some of that data, now I can do a little comparison. For example, okay. let's do the same thing that we just did, oh. but now take a look at it this way. See this okay. over here? This one I started for you. Okay. Since, uh, it's since I don't want to, like, get the suit all Thank you, and thank you. It's so a long day. One, so this one has um, two tablespoons uh, of baking soda and 100 milliliters of vinegar. Okay, okay. a little weird way to measure yep. it, but we're Americans, okay. right? Yes. So here's what we're going to do. Um, you are going to dump in okay. vinegar, but I'm going to try to cover Cap it with it. our balloon. You got it. And so let's see if there's any difference. Ready? Okay. So pour it in. Ready? Okay. Three, two, three, one. Two, one. Keep three, two, one. Keep Good. Okay, that's it. Good job. Oh, good oh. job. Oh, oh. No, look at this. Oh. See, now this one's in my Run for your, your life now, Jerry. Right? Oh. So yes. look what we're doing here. There's a little comparison that you have between the two. Isn't it kind of fun how we both smell like vinegar now? We yes. smell a lot like just vinegar. Yeah. Kim will appreciate so, that. But see, now there's a comparison. Mm. So we tell people you can take any science fair activity and turn it into a project, a real experiment, or yeah, any science activity right. and turn it in. If you simply change, create, and compare. If you change some variable, if you create a new experiment and you, and you do a comparison. Let's say you know the perfect formula for vinegar and baking soda, right. and we don't want to, uh, to blow up the balloons. Right. We want to test the strength of two different bags. Oh. So now take a look at this. This is a flimsy oh, bag, see. a yes. two mil bag. Yes. There's a four mil bag. Watch this. You should do okay. this. So okay. pick this up okay. and now just kind of shake it, mix it up, and then put it down the table quickly. <laughs> there you go. See? Oh. See? Oh. see now that. Ah. <clears throat> I expertly aimed that at Lawrence. You did a really, really good job. <laughs> See, we're comparing oh. now the strength of those two. Yeah, we, I think that was probably that was an excellent experiment. Baby. But you see how we're comparing the two? Sometimes <laughs> one does not pop, but I got both of them to pop. And this where, time. where do we want to send people for all this marvelous information? We're going to go to sciencefair101.com. Okay. So sciencefair101.com. Okay. Here's, look at this final thing that I have. Okay. I have the classic vinegar and baking soda. Right. So you see how it's in here. Yeah. But now, Mr. Kobrick, uh, now I think we've got the perfect mixture. Oh. So this goes in down here the like funnel, this. and so and it goes. Oh, oh my gosh, it's it's gonna. There's gonna be something <laughs> wild that's gonna probably. Ha oh, here it oh, goes. Oh, perfect. Mr. Kobe, see, it just it happens. Perfect. It just keeps going and going and going and. There and you now go. You get your classic science fair piece, but maybe we learn some science at the same time. You get an A today, Steve Spangler. As always, thank you, Stevie. Thank you very much. Fifteen years of blowing things up. We'll be right back.